Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Today we're going to talk about combinations of resistors. Sometimes we have to replace a lot of resistors with a load which is how, how these resistors behave. Let's say I have an example. Uh, maybe it's not the best example, but it should show it should show how it is working. Uh, let's say this is our resistor application due to whatever reason. And let's also pretend we have a test and we want to see if all resistors are soldered in correct. Uh, so we could say uh, we want to measure the resistance between this point A and this point B. If we measure the resistance between this and that point, and we have a certain value of resistance, then we are pretty sure all things are inside there correctly. So it's a test application. Yeah. Because we are manufacturing a circuit board and that's, that's our thing. Yeah. How big shall the resistance be which we are going to measure here? It looks in first, if you're a beginner, it looks overwhelming a little bit. Yeah? So we just have to look how things we know. We know theories and we know parallel circuits. No, well, let's find series and parallel circuits. Yeah? And here, those two, this one and this one, they are series connection, one after the other, clear. So we say, okay, we pull down them together, we say R34, it's good to name the resistance in a proper way so that we can find, so uh, the combination of A3, uh, R3 and R4 is called R34, and this is R3 plus R4, because it's a series, so actually that's 500 ohms plus 70 ohms equals 570 ohms. Then need a calculator for this. Here we also have series connection. So we can calculate here a resistance R67 is R6 plus R7 hmm, equals 50 ohms plus 150 ohms and this is 200 ohms. Good! Oh, good! I don't see any serious connection. Yeah? However, what I see is here those two, those are parallel. Mm -hmm. Let's see, 1 divided by R12 equals 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. Okay, So this equals 1 divided by 600 ohms plus 1 divided by 600 ohms. This is 2 divided by 600 ohms. This is 1 divided by 300 ohms. So R12 is 300 ohms. This was convenient. We did not need a calculator because it turned out pretty fine. Yeah? 1 divided by R12 is 1 divided by 300 ohms. So 300 ohms. Perfect. Yeah? It's the half. You see, we have here 600, we have here 600. That's pretty logical, right? If you have two streets uh, which have the same resistance, yeah, then if you have just one, it will be 600 ohm. And if you have a second one, it will be just half because it will the, the current will separate from here to here. It's the same with streets and cars and so on. Yeah? If you have two, two equally sized roads, the traffic will be split it into half and oh, double the traffic can flow. So we have half the resistance. Clear. Mm -hmm. 
And now, hmm, now we are going to draw it again. Okay, so we start here at point A. This is point A. And let's see, here we replace those two with R12. This is the, the thing we are replacing. So here we have this R12, which is, which is 300 ohms. Right? And here we are already at point B. So here we have point A. Here we have point B. Here we're going to replace this resistor here with R34, which was 570 ohms. We're placing, replacing this resistor here. R67, which was 200 ohms. This one we have not touched, it's still the same. So here we have still this R5. With 200 ohms. And here we have still this R8 with 80 ohms. Hmm. Now we might see new combinations. Right? Now we might see new combinations. Of course, those three are in series. However, I would cover the points I want to measure. I want to measure the resistance between here and here. So I will not make those points disappear. However, we do have here and here. Two resistors which connect the same two points to each other. And this is a parallel connection, parallel circuit. So actually we have here one divided by R567 combined, uh, the names, is 1 divided by R5 plus 1 divided by R67. And this is pretty much the same game as here because it's 1 divided by 200 ohms plus 1 divided by 200 ohms is 2 divided by 200 ohms. This is 1 divided by 100 ohms. So this means R567 is 100 ohms. Okay, now let's draw it again. Start here. Point A. We still have here our R12, 300 ohm. Here we have point B. This did not change. So here we have A. Here we have B. Right. Here we still have our R34. Which was 570 ohms. And here we have now the new R567. which is 100 ohms. And here we still have our R8, which is 80 ohms. And now we see we those three are now serious because we don't cover anything here. Yeah? So we will take this here and calculate the value of a resistor meanwhile called R34567 Yes, I can count. <laughs> Which equals R34 plus R567 
567 plus R8 and this equals 570 ohms plus 100 ohms plus 80 ohms and this is turns out to be 670 uh, 670 6, 750 750 ohms so what we do have point a R12 300 ohms then the new R34567 which is 7, 750 ohms and here we have point B and now we have a parallel connection so this means R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so the combination of all R's equals 1 divided by 1 divided by R12 plus 1 divided by R34567. It sounds like in dance class. 34567. <laughs> 1 divided by 300 ohms plus 1 divided by 750 ohms. And now I grab my calculator. Here it is. Type this in 1 divided by 1 divided by uh, 300 plus 1 divided by seven, 750. 214.28. Two eight six. This is actually the value we would measure between those two points with these values. Right? Resistor combinations. Now you know. Just look. Have a look at the. See if you can find things you know, combine them, and then it will get smaller and smaller and smaller. Then you have one replacement resistor, usually small replacement resistor, which is actually not really there, but all the others behave like this replacement resistor. Resistor combinations. Sometimes we have combinations which we just cannot solve because it's so un unlucky that the combinations are then we need uh, we need some replacement yeah we need a star triangle transformation how this is working I'm going to explain in the next video then we can really solve all all combinations for this time Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.